Yes, I'm coming soon. Greetings. Lord God Jesus Christ is among us all who believe. This is the continue of Rapture, the second chance in heaven. Last week, we study the first purification or the first chance. Today, we will discuss second chance in heaven or second purification. We undergo purification because we sin. And sin has two kinds. According to 1 John 5.16 that says, A sin that does not lead to death and a sin that leads to death. Sin that leads to death is a sin that do not believe in the Lord God Jesus Christ. That's why in John 3.16, Whoever believes in Him shall not perish. But if you will not believe in the Lord God Jesus Christ, then you will perish. That, that is what John 5.16 says. He means that, that if you will not believe, you are sinning and you will and that will result to death or you will perish in the redemption day. You will not going to rise because you do not believe the sin that does not leads to death is a sin that we do after we believe in the lord god jesus christ so when we are christian already we are committing sin that does not leads to death or perishing so it is already an assurance that after death uh, we will not perish on the redemption day but still we are sinning and that is now the second purification that will happen in heaven as isaiah 66 17 says those who purify themselves in a sacred garden feasting on pork and rats and other forbidden meats will come to a terrible end says the lord isaiah 66 17 so the purification is in heaven because we will going to purify in the secret garden that is found in heaven according to john 3 16 there are two kinds of people the non-believer and the believer so the non-believer is those who do not believe in the lord god jesus christ and they are destined to perish as the verse john 3 16 says that whoever believes in him shall not perish but whoever do not believe in the lord god jesus christ will perish so non-christian on the redemption day will not going to rise to reach heaven but only those uh, believer or the christian who believe in the lord god jesus christ and purified by the blood of the lord god jesus christ they only will going to reach heaven as the verse says there are two kinds of christian those who are alive and those who are dead now there are two kinds of dead christian those who do good and those who do evil this illustration is all about the dead christians and the alive christian has nothing to do with this illustration illustration this is for the dead christians only in heaven we will be put on trial as malachi 3 5 that says at the time i will put you on trial i will be a ready witness against all sorcerer and adulterers and liars so in heaven we are going to face trial there whether we do good or we do evil this is now the scenario that uh, stated in zechariah 3 1 that says then the angel showed me joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the lord satan was there at the angel's right hand accusing Jeshua of many things. 
And the Lord said to Satan, I, the Lord, reject your accusation, Satan. Yes, the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebukes you. This man is like a burning stick that has been snatched from a fire. Sikariah 3 show us the scenario in the judgment in heaven. So, in heaven, the angel show where is Joshua standing. So, Joshua is standing here and it says, before the angel. So, Joshua is standing before the angel. So, here's the angel. And Satan, and Satan was there at the angel's right hand. So, Satan is here at the angel's right hand. And Satan is accusing Joshua. As the verse says, Satan was there accus accusing Joshua of many things. What these many things he accused to Joshua? Let's look at John 5.45 that says, but do not think I will accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses, on whom your hopes are set. If you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. So this verse is a figurative speech. This means that the Moses law, whom our hope are set. So Satan now is accusing Jeshua of the law that given to Moses and this law the law that given to Moses is wrote about Lord God Jesus Christ as it is said he wrote about me now Satan is accusing Joshua Jeshua of the law of Moses that he failed to do Romans 2 verse 12 says, All who sin apart from the law will also perish apart from the law, and all who sin under the law will be judged by the law. This means Satan will accuse Joshua of all his sin which he failed to do that is not pleasing to God. Romans 2 12 means that those who sin apart from the law this means those who do not believe in the lord god jesus christ will perish so those who sin apart from the law will perish as john 3 16 says those who do not believe in the lord god jesus christ will perish will not rise on the day of redemption they will eternally perish but those who sin under the law this mean those who believe in the lord god jesus christ is sinning under the law those who sin under the law this mean they sin Th their sin does not lead to death or perishing so that's why they reach heaven but still they are sinning so satan now is accusing the dead christians of the sin that does not lead to death or the sin that under the law mark 9 49 says everyone will be salted with fire now joshua is on fire he is tested with fire i'm sorry guys i'm not a good cartoonist that's why let's assume that this is a fire so joshua was uh, salted in fire now so in believers in dead christians when they reach heaven and they will face a trial so they too will going to 
be tested in fire. So, who is this fire? Chapter 3 verse 5 says, I will be ready, witness against all sorcerers and adulterers and liars. John chapter 14 verse 26 says, But the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. So, it is now the Holy Spirit whom is living in us. The word in us is the one represent the Father and the Son. So, in Malachi chapter 3 verse 5, it was the Holy Spirit whom the witness of the sin they lie or not. Now, the Holy Spirit is the fire that uh, will going to purify us. So now, the Holy Spirit is the representative of God the Father and God the Son as a judge in Joshua and also in the dead Christians who do evil and who do good. Remember that the sin that the Christian now commit is a sin that does not lead to death or perishing because they already believe in the Lord God Jesus Christ. So now Satan is accusing us of sin that does not lead to death. That because the Holy Spirit or Lord God Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, is already in us and is already clothing us in heaven. John chapter 5 verse 22 says, The Father judged no one, but has entrusted all judgment to the Son. So, this means Lord God Jesus Christ, the Son, will be the judge. In this scenario, in Zechariah chapter 3 verse 1 to 5, we see and uh, we understand that it was the Holy Spirit, Lord God Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, is the one who is judging us. Who knows everything in our heart that's why when we deny the accusation of Satan about the law he will be a blazing fire that uh, if we deny the heat will be intense but if we accept the truth that we sin then the heat will not increase. That is why we see in this illustration that it was Apostle Paul who are sitting in the judgment seat. This according to 1 Corinthians 6.2 that says, Do you not know that the saints will judge the world? Apostle Paul will one of the uh, saints that uh, will going to judge the world as the verse says so in Revelation 21 verse 13 that says there were three gates on the east three on the north and three on the south and three on the west verse 12 it had a great wall with 12 gates and with 12 angels at the gates on the gates were written the name of the twelve tribes of Israel. So the kingdom of heaven has twelve gates all in all. So every side has three gates. And in twelve uh, gates are written the twelve tribes of Israel. So that is the twelve apostles. So in every gate, there will be a judge who will going to sit at the judgment seat 
and it was not the Lord God Jesus Christ who will going to sit at the judgment seat but the uh, ap- apostles in uh, Revelation 22:14 that says bless are those who wash their robes that they may have the right to the tree of life and may go through the gates into the city Revelation 22 verse 14 says that blessed are those who wash their robes and enter the gate this simply means that the purification is outside the kingdom of heaven and uh, in every gate there are 12 apostles who are sitting at the judgment seat and the holy spirit who is the representative of god the father and god the son who will going to judge uh, the christian who reach heaven and uh, it is the holy spirit who knows only the heart of the christians the holy spirit will judge the heart of the christians now satan accusing the dead christians of the law and the law is all about lord god jesus christ this simply means that the law is uh, to worship alone lord god jesus christ to pray alone and only to the lord god jesus christ so satan will accuse the dead christians whether they worship the lord god jesus christ with all their heart their soul their mind and their strength because uh, satan knows that uh, they didn't perfectly uh, worship the lord god jesus christ and the witness of that is the holy spirit who's inside the dead christians now apostle paul is full of the holy spirit will say to the dead Christians according to Zechariah 3 2 that says I the Lord reject your accusation Satan yes the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebukes you this man is like a burning stick that has been snatched from a fire but those who do evil Christian Matthew 7 verse 23 says then i will tell them plainly i never knew you away from me you evildoers luke uh, chapter 13 verse 28 that says there will be weeping there and gnashing of teeth when you see abraham isaac and jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of god but you yourselves thrown out so the evildoer now will going to throw out from the kingdom of heaven because they find guilty of their sins they do not worship lord god jesus alone and only and do not pray to the lord god jesus christ as well as they don't uh, love their neighbors because they don't love lord god jesus christ now those who do good will going to snatch out from the fire as zechariah 3 2 to verse 5 says uh, Jeshua was snatched out from the fire but those who do evil will not going to snatch out from the fire but will continue to be burned until filthy dross will going to remove from from them they will going to purify until they will become uh, pure that because Romans 8 38 to 39 that says for i am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither the present nor the future nor any powers neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of god that is in lord god jesus christ so as the verse says no one can separate us from the love of god in part one uh, those who believe in the lord god jesus christ 
will become the beloved also of God. This means those who do evil will have a chance to enter the kingdom of God. They have a forever chance that because our God is eternal, so His love is eternal. And those who do evil will suffer in the fire for they will be going to purify on that fire because the fire is the Holy Spirit. And if the Holy Spirit will leave them or pull out by the Father from them, then in that way they will going to perish eternally. But if God the Father will not going to pull out His Spirit on those evildoer, then those evildoer uh, will have a chance to enter the kingdom of heaven. So that because our God is an eternal God and He has also an eternal chance. Uh, in conclusion, Isaiah 66.17 that says, Those who purify themselves in a sacred garden, feasting on pork and rats and other forbidden meats, will come to a terrible end. We know that the cleansing of our body is not anymore of eating or drinking, but it is through the blood of the Lord God Jesus Christ, as Romans 3, 24-25 says. So, we are not longer clean by our good works, but only through the blood of the Lord God Jesus Christ and nothing more. So, this verse means that uh, those who eat unforbidden meat but without faith, then the blood of the Lord God Jesus Christ will come to a terrible end because they do not rely on the Lord God Jesus Christ. Those who reach heaven are purified through their faith in the Lord God Jesus Christ. And good works are the basis of their judgment in the kingdom of heaven. So, we are not purified by this uh, unclean uh, pork or unclean meat, but we are purified by the blood of the Lord God Jesus Christ. It is very clear in the last uh, topic we discussed. As you see in this illustration, it is the fire who purifies us. And it is it is not the food, the unclean food that purify us. It is the fire. So this uh, unclean foods is a figurative one and not uh, a literal. So we will be snatched from the fire because we do all things for the glory of the Lord God Jesus Christ. We do things for our love to the Lord God Jesus Christ. We love one another because we love the Lord God Jesus Christ. Before I end, please subscribe to my channel and drop your comment or any questions or clarifications. And uh, please share to others also. So read your Bible every day and pray every day. Lord God Jesus Christ bless us all.